In this next video, the topic I want to discuss with you is a very simple one and yet one can draw some very complex conclusions from this topic and it's simply darkness and light. Now when you think of darkness and light, a lot of us think of two opposing things, the one being light and the one being dark. We often think of black and white as well in reference to to darkness and light but this couldn't be further from the truth because darkness is quite simply the absence of light and to understand this concept all you have to do is remove all light from an area and you won't be able to see anything now this is a purely scientific reality of the the world and the universe that we live in that when light is not present we have darkness so to see anything with our eyes we need light waves to reflect into our eyes for us to be able to see and actually perceive things and for there to be an absence of light there, there can be no source of light and for there to be darkness all sources of light needs to be removed for perfect darkness to exist now, very few people have actually experienced perfect darkness because in most cases, even at night, there's a little bit of light that shines through, maybe from the moon, from a street light or something, or from even from the stars, if you live in the Karua. So to experience complete darkness, you need to be completely isolated from all light sources and the darkest dark I've ever experienced has been inside the containment building at Kuburg when all the lights were switched off. And I can tell you that I had no idea where I was instantly. And even although I was looking in a specific direction, we use light to give us bearing on things, to show us our direction, to show us a way, a way to move and travel and how to move and travel. Without that light, your direction becomes completely messed up and actually quite pointless. Now, how does this relate to our normal everyday life? I want to bring this back to being transparent, being open and shedding light on things. You've all heard the saying, let's shed some light on something. What does this mean? It means to, to remove the darkness. When things exist in darkness they are hidden because you cannot see them within the world that we live in all things that are hidden can be extremely bad because bad things can only happen in darkness think about this for a second within the political system in this country many things happen behind the scenes Many times people don't have access to the meetings, for instance, of political parties, the meetings or caucuses of parliament. People have discussions in secret rooms, in the passages where others can't hear, and we don't have light that actually is shed on what they discuss and what they're doing. Now, within a person's home, you want to be private. And within the four walls of your home or the area of your home, we all want privacy. And as, as the public, we have a right to that privacy. But the moment you choose to put yourself forward to be a representative for the people of a country, you need to be completely transparent and you must be willing for all the light to be shined on you so that there can be no darkness. So the moment that anyone that is an elected official does anything behind closed doors or in a place where you as the person that that person, him or her is supposed to serve, cannot see what they are doing, they can be involved in work of darkness, which means that it's not transparent, it's not come to light what the person is doing and therefore 
you cannot really trust what is going on. The same way I couldn't trust where I was walking inside the containment building at Kuburg, which is a one meter thick concrete building with absolutely no way of any light penetrating inside of there with all the light switched off. You actually don't know where to go at all. And the best thing to do is stay put, stay exactly where you are. And this is where this country has found itself for the last 26 years. We have been stuck in exactly the same place. Many things might have gone backwards, but the country has been stuck. Stuck in this transitionary period, stuck in this, this position of not being able to move forward. Because behind the scenes, things happened behind the scenes. Things did not happen in the open. Things were not transparent. And things were not transparent because parties were allowed to do things in secret. In secret meetings where only certain people were allowed. This can happen in companies too. But in, in terms of companies, you are allowed to do things in secret or in meetings. Because in those meetings, you can enlighten people that look out for the best interest of the company. And most of the time, the person that has the biggest interest in the company would be the owner. And the owner would most of the time be in that meeting. But who owns the government? We do. The people of the country do. And we don't sit in those meetings. So the roles are reversed. And this is a complex problem. Because us, as the people that rule the country, have been given one single thing. To enable us to enlighten those that we elect. And that is a ballot. An election. How did this, this one act, allowing us to vote, enlighten us? or clear the darkness away through enlightenment of what is happening with those people that are supposed to be our representatives? The answer is, we have no idea what's going on. We are completely in the dark because there is no transparency. And these people don't want to be transparent. If these people would broadcast their meetings to the people in the country, we could start to say that they are transparent and I would start challenging them to do exactly that. I want the people that call themselves our rulers, our MPs, our councillors, I want them to publicly open up their meetings. You are all so good at live streaming everything you do. Do it in public. Show the public your meetings. Every single meeting that you have, live stream them. There's so many platforms where you can do this. I challenge you to do this. To shed light on what you are doing. So that we can make proper decisions with regards to your works of darkness. Maybe when the light is shone, where it's been dark before, we can see some light coming out of you. And the actions that you take, because the moment light shines on darkness, darkness has to disappear. This is a scientific law. Again, subscribe to this channel. Click the bell icon. There is a lot more to come. I've got three stunning videos lined up for you for tomorrow. Today, I celebrated the Constitutional Court judgment, and I hope you celebrated with me. Tonight I'm celebrating with my family. This was a huge victory for light. Light was shone and the IEC has said that they are grateful for this clarification. They actually knew what the constitution said. It didn't serve their purpose and their dark works to actually enlighten us and give us the opportunity to do what is best and elect individuals so we can shed light and hold them accountable. Those individuals, we can ask them to shed light on everything they do. We can ask them to scrutinize their every move. Because when you put yourself forward for public office, that is exactly what you should do. Now you cannot hide behind your parties anymore. 
You cannot hide behind your works of darkness. And I'm challenging you to shed light. ANC, EFF, DA, COPE, GOOD, ALJAMA, all of you, shed light on your works. Live stream them. I thank you.